Well, um, I, I look forward to you being interviewed about Buddhism on 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 another podcast. Uh, I have I I trust you. You know your shit. Yeah, thank you. And good job kicking a young Earth creationist's ass. And let's let's keep going with these little tidbits because I wanted to do a small amount of episode hopping. Okay. Because every once in a while I'll find a little bit of knowledge or trivia or some bit of news. So I have I have two episodes here that I would very much like to revisit if that's I with you. Okay. If that's I. I. Three episodes ago, episode one hundred and sixty-six, the Shoppe of Water. Yes. That was a good episode. That was a damn good episode. And I believe that that was the first appearance of D&D, Deanna and Destiny. That was Shape of Water. Yeah, that's what I said. The Shoppe of Water. Oh, it, I'm like, it, 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 was, it was their, unof- it was their the sh- unofficial it, it, debut. Yeah, their unofficial <laughs> debut. Yeah, we didn't really have our own thing until, like, um, yeah. not then. They yeah. were, they were. First official appearance. Yeah. They they were special guests on that episode. Special guests. There you go. Now they're so that, family. They became family with Wally. Yeah. Well, that was a good episode. That was a great episode. So, but here's what I think. We now need to destroy all copies of that episode. Well, no. Okay. Why? Why you ask? Because of extreme Colorado pastor Kevin Swanson. Okay. Oh, I am intrigued. This man hates gays so bad that he once said that a just society would give gays the death penalty. If you're going to play that, then play it away from the podcast because it's making noise and I don't want some YouTube video to, to, to get monetized in, in this. He also has a history of uh, strongly hating most major movies for some reason. In 2014, he said that Frozen was a satanic plot to turn to turn kids gay. Uh, <laughs> Agreed. I think we can all agree I mean, yeah. on that. Yeah, we know that. Yeah. In, in 2015, he said that God would judge America for for Harry Potter and How to Train Your Dragon. I I because, I have characters in those. I have looked him up, and this is a man who never gets laid. Dumbledore, Dumbledore. is unofficial oh, again. Well, yeah, official, unofficial. It was never mentioned because it wasn't important to hear his blood. <laughs> hey, but you know, after she's like, "Hey, by the way, Dumbledore's gay." Stupid bitch played off a of gay. Yeah, right. J.K. Rowling just trying to get some brownie points. Yeah, it, it it upsets me when people do that. It's not like George Lucas is suddenly coming out and saying. The Jawas are all Egyptian. <laughs> you know, like, why would you do that? That you know, you you're already done with this. You don't have to add things. <laughs> Chewbacca is by. <bi. laughs> That's why he's such good friends with Han Solo. It didn't make it in the movies. It wasn't important to the plot, but totally by. Man, we got a lot of wing nuts in our state. I don't know where Elizabeth, Colorado is. I yeah. know. Um, this is my favorite. Oh, no. A few weeks ago, he blamed the Austin bombings on the Batman movies. <laughs> Who is this guy? Kevin Swanson. He's he's actually really big in like a Christian extreme conservatism. The yeah. thing is, the thing is about him blaming the Batman movies. I think he wanted to blame it on Black Panther, but he didn't want to piss off Black Twitter. Okay. So he blamed it on Batman. It's ridiculous in 2018 to blame anything on Batman. Like, what are you gonna blame in our modern day? What are you gonna blame Batman for? Frowns. Yeah. You know. The choice between Batman and Obama. Yeah. yeah. Uh, unless he's talking about the Lego Batman, in which he had a lot of uh, gay tension with Lego Joker. Yeah, he did. <laughs> so, in the beginning of this year, Kevin Swanson exactly. called Kanaka's The Joker. Shape of Water, quote, the end of civilization as we know it. <laughs> yeah, about fucking time. 
<laughs> he, 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 he continued, this movie is completely centered around cross-species mating. And he said that God would judge America harshly for the popularity of The Shape of Water and for the Oscars that it won. So I think for the sake of America, Bunny, we should probably destroy episode 166. Um, nobody is going and shoving fishes up their bag. I, I we think, we should, <laughs> I think <laughs> we should send them a copy. <laughs> Maybe fish sticks. No Maybe <laughs> fish sticks. You know, as a starter. I'm just saying we should, we don't want to piss off God. Oh, I'm sorry. We're not talking about God. We're talking about God. Yeah. And, uh, G-A-W-D. We're not talking about G-O-D. Oh. We're talking about G-A-W-D. That's the white God. That's the P-H-A-T of yeah. that. Yeah. 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 That's the white God. So I'm just putting that out there. Maybe we should destroy all copies of The Shape of Water episodes so that we don't oh, uh, my. incur the wrath of God. Just bringing <laughs> that out there. You don't have to say yes or no yet. But I will pencil that in as a as a as a that's soft a maybe. Yes. No, I'm 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 going for sending him a copy. That's 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 the direction. Oh I'm yeah, hitting. he would love that. He would probably love that. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God, Elizabeth Colorado is really not far away at all. Really? Shit. Yeah. Kevin Swanson, it's, crazy it's ass like guy. He looks Castle weird too. Rock. He's got these like glasses and like. It's not even up. It's not even as far away as Denver. Yeah. Kevin Swanson looks like the evil scientist in a comic book movie. So he's, That's what he looks like. He's so he's Joe Olsen in fuck. Yes. Yeah. Now, now the the other episode I wanted to talk about is a is an old episode and I mean really old. Okay. I wanted to talk about episode 41 of the Pope on film. 41. Which one was 41? Episode 41 was part two of our triple feature of double features. Are you going to watch anymore? We did three episodes where we did double features. And this specific episode, episode 41, we did Staten Island Summer and Batman, Batman. and Robin. Okay. And, and again, I want to say, how dare you hate Colin Jost's cute, funny Guido coming of age film. God damn it, I love Staten <laughs> Island Summer. Co-starring 65% of the cast of SNL. I love that film! <laughs> Summer. Secondly, I read one of those BuzzFeed listicles about Ben and Robin, and yeah. there were a few bits there that I didn't know at the time that we recorded the episode that I wanted to just add to the show. Okay. For starters, Chris O'Donnell never worked a single day with Arnold Schwarzenegger, which is odd because they're in dozens of scenes together. They're in a shit ton of scenes, but they were never on set at the exact same time for, for no reason other than, I mean, they didn't even have a full script when they started filming the movie. It was such a, a cluster cuss. So they used mm -hmm. body doubles for like wide shots and then they filmed Chris O'Donnell's Robin close-up separate is really? how they worked this out. Does he does he have something against Austrians? No, no. Or or does Austria have something against uh, baby-faced child actors who, once they lose the baby face, uh, disappear from American history? Because what the fuck is Chris O'Donnell doing? I actually wrote down a. Jerry O'Connor, but I had to cross that out and put the right name. Because <laughs> it wasn't Jerry O'Connell. He was from uh, Rounders. No, Rounders. no, not Rounders. He was from, what was that sci-fi movie where they're jumping? Every Sliders. There you go. Sliders, Sliders. yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, uh, Mr. Freeze and Robin were never in the same room at the same time, and that just is, is a good sign of the ridiculousness of this freaking movie. Also, Mr. Freeze, Arnold Schwarzenegger, he had this blue glow in his mouth when he was talking. And, and so, you know, a lot of that was just special effects and fix it in post. But when they were doing a close-up of Arnold Schwarzenegger in the movie, when they were doing a close-up on him, they really wanted that blue to shine. So they set up this machine that he would put inside of his mouth, on the roof of his mouth, that would project this blue glow coming from out of his mouth. The only problem is the battery that they were using um, 
would start dissolving once it came in contact with human saliva. I, I don't know, but every time you see a close-up of Arnold Schwarzenegger, the blue coming out of his mouth is causing literal battery acid to drip down his throat. <laughs> and that's fucked up, but he was paid $25 million, and he worked exactly 25 days on the film, so he was paid a million dollars a day. So, also, so on one hand, oh man, he's swallowing battery acid. On the other hand, fuck you. <laughs> It's kind of a give and a take. Anyway, the, that was my uh, episode hopping. I wanted to do a little bit of episode hopping. And uh, so that's the end of that bit.